Hi, I'm Joseph Greeny and I'm the President of the Oxford University Music Society, otherwise known as OWLS. So I'm in charge of overseeing and coordinating all musical activities across Oxford and liaising with the music faculty. OWLS, founded in 1872, is one of the oldest and most prestigious societies in Oxford. There's no membership fee and there are so many ways to get involved. OWLS is made up of a number of different ensembles, which I'll briefly talk you through. Our flagship orchestra is the Oxford University Orchestra, which is made up of the university's finest players and is led by a different professional conductor each term, with the orchestra being joined by the likes of Daniel Harding and Stephen Isolis. There's the OU Sinfonietta, which is one of the UK's premier student chamber orchestras and specialises in rarely performed repertoire. There's also the OU Philharmonia, Brass Band, Chorus, Jazz Orchestra, String Ensemble, Symphony Band and Wind Orchestra. To sign up to many of these ensembles, there are short, friendly, central AMS auditions at the start of each term, which can be booked online. There are many other ways to get involved, such as with the Oxford University Chamber Music Society, which has an array of different organised ensembles. There are annual events, such as the Composition Competition, which has the winning entry being performed by the OU Sinfonietta and the Concerto Competition. Players of Alms get to perform in such amazing spaces such as the Sheldonian Theatre and the Hollywell Music Room and many of our ensembles get to go on tours such as with the Oxford University Orchestra to Japan in 2019 and the Wind Orchestra's tour to the US East Coast in 2017. Something particularly amazing about Alms which sets it apart is that it is entirely student-led. Alms is run overall by an elected executive committee and the ensembles are led by appointed committee members and are all run by student conductors apart from OUO. Of course, music making in Oxford has been impacted by the current situation. However, Alms has done an amazing job of adapting. So many of our ensembles are doing virtual performances instead, such as the Waltz from Sleeping Beauty by uh, the Oxford Millennium Orchestra with uh, players from across all of Oxford. The Wind Orchestra are doing chamber group performances and the brass band led by myself are doing video performances of short, fun repertoire, for example. Uh, Alms groups are extremely fun with many socials throughout the year and this is being continued with online socials and pub quizzes by many of the ensembles. The committee is working extremely hard during these times to make sure we continue our high standard of music making throughout the year and into the next year, no matter the situation. Alms also prides itself on being the musical hub of Oxford and continuing our amazing outreach and engagement work, which our outreach officer Ellen will tell you about shortly. Please have a look at our website for more information and don't hesitate to contact me with any questions at president at alms.org. Hi, my name's Ellen. I'm a second year music student and I'm the engagement officer for the Music Society. My role includes coordinating all of our outreach work with the local communities and also ensuring that the society is accessible and inclusive for our students. This time we were really keen to reach out to the local state schools to help them with the challenges that they were facing with virtual teaching. Um, so we contacted them at the beginning of term and from that we put together a collection of resources for them to use. So we've been in touch with local special schools, um, primary schools and secondary schools and have put together a collection of resources which are all made by our students introducing their instruments on via video or introducing a genre of music and also playing in virtual performances all adapted to the schools that we've been contacting. So we sent the resources out to about 60 schools last week and I've been amazed with the really positive feedback. It's been an extremely rewarding experience for all of us involved and it's been great to make these connections which I'm sure will continue to grow. If you have any questions about the work we do in terms of outreach and the accessibility of the society, please contact me. Um, my email address is outreach at alms.org.